This is gray wacky sandstone. It starts as erosional materials on land, sand and silt and clay being eroded off the highlands and washed into the ocean. And it usually ends up loose uh, on the continental shelf outside the beach and just sits there and piles up. Every hundred years or so, there'll be a big El Nino year, an earthquake, and it shakes this stuff loose. And it goes sliding down the continental slope to the ocean floor below, in these huge underwater landslides called turbidites. And that's what forms the gray wacky. And the way those things were actually discovered was when they finally got the telephone cables across the Atlantic, they'd record an earthquake. And hours later, the cable would start breaking hundreds of miles away. What these earthquakes were doing were triggering these turbidites, these underwater landslides. Finally, they put a TV camera down there and saw it because no one quite believed you could have a, a landslide underwater. The gray wacky sandstone is the main component of Franciscan rocks. Most of Mount Tamalpais is gray wacky sandstone. Telegraph Hill is gray wacky sandstone. Mount San Bruno is gray wacky sandstone. What's the best way to identify it? Well, it's gray when it's fresh. Got a lot of iron in it, so it weathers to the same colors that pillow basalt. That's yeah. not going to do you much good. The easy way to tell it apart is the way it breaks. It looks like flat faces, steps, stairs. Yes. Yes. That's natural. If you ever do an idiot's guide to geology on Mount Diablo, you just look for pillows, you got the basalt. Uh -huh. You look for steps, you got the gray wacky sandstone. Perfect. And then we've got lots of lichen on there, too. Yes, and of course, everybody knows Al's algae took a lichen to Freddy fungus. It's generally thought of as a symbiotic relationship between algae and fungus. The fungus is grabbed a hold of the rock, and that's the home. But it can't make its own food, so it's got little algae growing in it. It's being protected from the elements by the fungus, but photosynthesizing and sharing the food with the fungus, willingly or unwillingly. The way to remember that is just Alice algae took a lichen to Freddy fungus. But if you're a geologist, you say, but yeah, now their marriage is on the rocks. Now you should head to marker number five. There we'll meet a third Franciscan rock, Radiolarian Chert, which has the most interesting story of all. <laughs>